Okay, this is the fourth video in the little series about uh, bowing, bowing technique. One thing that I didn't address that I should is um, the proper way to hold your psaltery. And there's no set way. I've seen it done. I've seen it held many different ways. And I'm not going to say that my way is exactly the way you should do it. Um, what I am going to say about that is that you should feel comfortable holding it. Anything that's in a strain, if any part of your body or, or your limbs or the fingers, anything that's in a strain, that's going to make you play less. So any, anything that's in a strain, you feel any pain anywhere, you should look to change uh, to make that um, work better. For me, for tenor size psaltery, I, I grip about right there. My hand is cupped so that I've got my fingers on one side and my thumb and this part of my hand on the other. I, I keep my hand cupped so that I'm not actually touching the, the thin wood on the back. I want that to be free to vibrate. I want to get all the sound that I can. If this is laying down on the palm of my hand, I could be losing some of the vibration of the back and therefore losing some of the sound. Uh, so that's my grip in that hand. I usually plant it against my abdomen. Uh, not, you know, I'm not pushing really hard in there. I'm just, just kind of letting it rest there. Uh, but with this grip, also, this part of the psaltery is, is laying against my arm. I've got my elbow by my side. I'm not holding it out like this. My elbow here is, is, is by my side, so the psaltery is laying there. Then my hand, it's planted against my belly. Uh, so to me, that's a good stable way to hold it. Works best for me. Like I said before, you know, don't... Uh, don't go by every word that I say as being the gospel. Just find what works for you. Don't let it hurt. Anything that hurts or is in a strain, and that's the same thing as far as what I said earlier about the grip on your bow. Uh, so if anything feels weird and your grip is making your thumb uh, hurt or something after uh, a short playing session, uh, see about changing. Move your finger, finger position around there to put it in different places. Um, as far as, uh, one other thing I need to say about that though, for the grip on the bow, I know not everybody has a, a good grip and maybe needs some help in that aspect. So here's a trick that I've used in the past. Um, this is a, um, uh, I guess it's maybe a, Maybe uh, less than an eighth of an inch thick, but it's foam. It's a foam sheet that is that has a uh, an adhesive back with the paper that you can peel off. So you can cut this stuff out and um, put it on. Uh, it sticks really, really good. It's hard to get off when you get it on there. Um, I use this on the bottom of the tripod holder, where the where the uh, saltry bottom sits on the wood so that uh, nothing gets scratched. I use a piece of this there. But um, one thing I've done in the past, and I mentioned it to someone the other day um, with a, a player that is um, uh, handicapped, or this could also go for someone that has arthritis or doesn't have a good grip. Um, you could cut out you see I've drawn out a, a shape there, but I've cut out a couple of pieces of this and stuck on either side of this bow. It gives you a cushioned grip. It also makes the the width of the bow a little a little wider. So if you know if you're having trouble in that um, with that aspect of gripping your bow, that may be something that would help. You could cut um, multiple pieces of this and stack them up and have a, a really thick surface. For gripping. Um, one thing that I I have um, experimented with different grips, but um, I see some folks reaching all the way around their bow like this to play to bow, and nothing wrong with that. If that works for you, that's fine. I, I find that I don't have 
much feel there. I, I, I like being at the base of the bow and having the, uh, uh, the leverage here. See how it's really easy for me to, to tip the bow. Uh, I like having that leverage there to be able to loosen up with the bow there and, and have a nice, that's how I'm getting those nice uh, quiet notes. So when I when I loosen my grip on the bow, if I push down on the bow, it pivots there between my thumb and my middle finger. So it's a, a kind of a pivot point there. If I grip it really tight, you know, I have less control over the pressure that I'm using. So I do loosen the grip some when I'm playing, especially playing those softer notes. If I'm playing the louder notes and fast, I, I will tend to grip just a little bit tighter. Uh, so that's something that as you're playing, that's something that's, that's really going to change. Uh, but I understand about uh, with the, the grip of the bow and arthritis. I've got a little, little touch of arthritis creeping in there. So I feel a little pain when I, it's hard for me to make a, a fist. It hurts, it hurts right in here. Uh, so that's that's a, a good uh, a good little trick to use for your bow if you if you want.